Korea's shocking incel problem. Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a topic that's been weighing heavily on my mind, and it's something many of us might not fully understand. We're talking about Korea's incel problem, and let me tell you, it's a lot more shocking than you might think. So buckle up and let's dive in. When you think of South Korea, what comes to mind? Technology, K-dramas, K-pop. Sure, these things are amazing, but underneath the surface lies a troubling social issue, the rise of incel culture or involuntary celibacy that has gained alarming traction. So, what exactly is an incel? In short, incels are individuals, predominantly young men, who find themselves unable to find romantic or sexual partners despite wanting to be involved in a relationship. While this might seem like an isolated problem, the implications are far-reaching and often troubling. Now, you may have heard about incel culture in the West, particularly with the online communities that have formed around it. But in South Korea, the situation is particularly dire. Over the last few years, there have been several high-profile cases connected to incels that have shaken the nation. Here's some eye-opening data. A 2020 survey revealed that around one in four young men in South Korea identified with incel beliefs. These are not just statistics, they represent real feelings of alienation, dissatisfaction, and sometimes anger towards women. In fact, this incel culture has led to social movements that have sparked intense debates about gender roles, feminism, and the responsibilities of men in society. Activists have emerged, fighting for women's rights amidst a growing backlash from incel communities. This is where things get really concerning South Korea has been grappling with a significant issue related to incels, involuntary celibates, which has become more prominent in recent years. This problem is intertwined with broader societal issues, including gender politics and economic pressures. A key factor contributing to this phenomenon is the resentment among some young men towards feminism and gender equality initiatives. Many of these men feel that they are unfairly burdened by mandatory military service and competitive job markets, while perceiving that women receive preferential treatment. This sentiment has been particularly visible in the political arena, where anti-feminist rhetoric has gained traction among certain voter demographics. The rise of incel culture in South Korea is also linked to the broader global incel movement, which often involves online communities where men express frustration over their lack of romantic success and blame women for their problems. This has led to a toxic environment that can sometimes result in misogynistic and even violent behavior. Addressing this issue requires a multifaceted approach, including promoting healthy gender relations, providing mental health support, and creating economic opportunities for young people. It's a complex problem, but understanding its roots is a crucial step towards finding solutions. Addressing South Korea's incel problem requires a comprehensive approach that tackles the underlying social, economic, and psychological factors. Here are some potential solutions. 1. Promoting gender equality and healthy relationships. Education and awareness. Implement educational programs that promote gender equality and healthy relationships from a young age. This can help challenge harmful stereotypes and foster mutual respect. Public campaigns. Launch public awareness campaigns to address misconceptions about feminism and gender roles, emphasizing the benefits of equality for everyone. 2. Mental health support. Counseling services. Provide accessible mental health services, including counseling and support groups, specifically targeted at young men struggling with feelings of isolation and resentment. Online interventions. Develop online resources and interventions to counteract toxic online communities and provide positive support networks. 3. Economic opportunities. Job creation. Focus on creating job opportunities for young people, particularly in sectors that are struggling. This can help alleviate some of the economic pressures that contribute to feelings of inadequacy and frustration. Skills training. Offer training programs to help young men develop skills that are in demand in the job market, increasing their employability and sense of purpose. 4. Addressing military service concerns. Reform military service. Consider reforms to the mandatory military service system to make it more equitable and less burdensome. 
This could include offering more flexible service options or providing additional support for those transitioning back to civilian life. 5. Community Building Social Programs Create community programs that encourage social interaction and build a sense of belonging. Activities like sports, arts, and volunteer work can help individuals form positive connections. Mentorship Programs Establish mentorship programs where older, more experienced individuals can provide guidance and support to younger men. 6. Policy and Legal Measures Anti-discrimination laws Strengthen and enforce laws against gender discrimination and harassment to create a safer and more inclusive environment for everyone. Support for victims Ensure that there are robust support systems in place for victims of misogynistic violence and harassment. Yes, there is a connection between the incel problem and the broader issue of sexual abuse of foreign women in South Korea. Both phenomena are rooted in deep-seated gender issues and societal attitudes towards women. Key factors. Misogyny and gender inequality. Both issues stem from misogynistic attitudes and gender inequality. Some men, feeling marginalized or threatened by gender equality movements, may express their frustrations through harmful behaviors. Cultural expectations and disappointment. Many foreign women come to South Korea with idealized views of Korean men, influenced by K-dramas and pop culture. When reality doesn't match these expectations, it can lead to disappointment and, in some cases, exploitation. Digital sex crimes. The rise of digital sex crimes, such as hidden camera recordings and revenge porn, reflects a broader culture of disrespect towards women's privacy and autonomy. This environment can embolden some men to commit sexual abuse. Lack of legal protections. There have been instances where foreign women, particularly marriage migrants, face abuse with limited legal recourse. This lack of protection can perpetuate a sense of impunity among perpetrators. Addressing the issue. Strengthening legal protections. Ensuring robust legal frameworks to protect all women, including foreigners, from abuse and harassment. Public awareness campaigns. Educating the public about the harmful effects of misogyny and promoting respectful relationships. Support services. Providing accessible support services for victims of abuse, including counseling and legal assistance. Amazing viewers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps us out. If you found the content valuable, consider sharing it with your friends or on social media. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos like this one. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching.